What's up, guys? So, after checking out Mama Moo's Killing Voice last month as a Patreon request, Cora, my patron, has asked me this month to check out uh, one of their full songs, Windflower, that I did hear uh, part of on that video. And I'm pretty amped about it, man. I'm not gonna lie, like, watching that video totally made me just get that feeling of, like, wanting to get back into K-pop hardcore, you know what I mean? I just need it in my life. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're just gonna jump into Windflower here. So this one's from 2018, about two and a half years old at this point. Uh, I don't remember which one it was on The Killing Voice, but I'm assuming that this is a slower song just based on the uh, title. Let's find out. Hwasa, starting with Hwasa. Oh, I like her hair. And her boombox. And just the fact that she has a boombox in general. That's cool. That's my era, baby. Alright, we got a breakup song, and, uh... It's a breakup song, yeah? But I gotta, I gotta tell you, this breakup is working out pretty well for Solar and Hwasa, visually. It's doing them good. How pretty she is, oh my god. Oh my god, look at her hair! Was that Moonbeal singing there? Or was that still Wayne? All right, so so far I'm really digging this song. I mean, it's not, and it's not just the, visually. I mean, they all look just absolutely, good lord. And I just feel like their voices sound so good, especially like this beginning part when Solar came in with that head voice, right here. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? But the other thing that I wanted to say is, so they they have a lot of different styles that they seem to like go in and out of. They have a heavy Latin influence a lot of the time, and usually those are the songs that don't like connect to me as much. I don't know why, it's just like not really my jam. But then they have this sort of retro feel to some of their songs also, this sort of like 70s, almost like disco pop sound to it. And I feel like uh, this is hitting, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Like I'm getting that oldies feeling to this. And I was a big fan of oldies growing up. Yeah, the cadence here. Like, I really like the sound of the progression of the vocals in the chorus. I mean, honestly, Joker Solar is like one of the hottest versions of Solar. I can't, I can't lie to you. <laughs> I really like her long hair too, oh my god. Hell yeah. I love her rap voice, man. Like I was saying in the last one, just circles. Just, just a bunch of bubbles going forward. It, it just feels like it's giving me massage. In a not creepy way. A little bit creepy. Wow. Visually, this might be their best looking video. I, for them. 
Ugh, nasty. Let's hear that again. Ugh. So I say when I watch the Dimash videos, a lot of the time it sounds like his his breath has notes, and that came out of Hwasa right there. It's barely even. It's, it's almost a whisper, but it sounds. You can hear the progression going up. Of course, it's seriously catchy. This is Moonbeal saying, here we go. Ah, I love it. I love it, man. So people were telling me in the comment sections of the, um, the other video that I did, like, I, I gotta start putting some respect on Moonbeal's name when it comes to the vocal stylings. And uh, I gotta agree, man. Like, I've heard her do some vocals before, and, like... Not a lot, though. It's always, like, little parts like the one that we just heard. But you can tell, like, the serious difference between the first verse that she had, which was, like, full-on rap, you know? Melodic rap, but full-on rap. And then this one where she did, like, one line of rap and the rest of it was kind of this, this melodic singing style. It still had, like, a sense of rap because she's a rapper, you know? So you still kind of get that speaking element to it. But there's melody throughout the course of it, you know? So it's like she's still hitting all the notes that you would hit if you were singing... Like if you were any of the other singers, I really want to hear her just like go, you know, for like a like a, like a song or like maybe like a full verse, just like hear what she can do vocally. Um, I kind of want to just hear that whole verse again though. Mm. That wind in the background? I love their ad libs. Ooh. I got, what is that, saxophone back there? God damn, she's so incredible. Ah. It seems like in this video, they're all kind of like dealing with breakups. And I feel like they're all handling it differently. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're seeing each of them in like a different situation. Like we saw Hwasa kind of like dancing around in that like empty restaurant before. We see Solar like getting all dressed up to go out. And we in possibly the same? I don't know. Let's see if we can figure this out. Aw, she looks so sad. Besties! So Mumbul's just like... Walking around the city like... Depressed. What's we in doing? I like this. Dude, the coloring in that shot is so good. The yellow with like the kind of faded blue. The coloring in this whole video has been really nice. Like look at this shot. Look at all the different and like I know everybody always talks about the colors in music videos, but the, the but some of these shots have been specifically interesting in the sense that like we've got just take a look at this what we're seeing right here just the, the little elements of red that are sprinkled throughout this and then towards the right upper half it's more of like a blue greenish tint it's like it goes from bottom left with this like really warm aura into this like really cold almost like sad aura up to the top right it feels like they they did that on purpose And see, now this feels... What is that shirt that she's wearing? 
Boombio! Do I have a new fave? Did you see her shirt, guys? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if they're going to show it again, so I got to go back and I got to pause and... You see this hat right here? See how it says Gur Arg? Well, that's representative of my favorite TV show of all time called Bucket Vampire Slayer. And that, my friends, is Miss Buffy Summers right there on Moonbule's chest. I have never enjoyed Moonbule's chest so much. I mean... Oh, and what I was going to say before I got completely distracted by that awesome Buffy shirt was that I love that kind of by the end of this video, it seems like they're all, uh, you know, dealing with this breakup by themselves, but they kind of came together as like buddies and now they're getting drunk together and they were dancing in the street and they just feel better because they're, you know, they're a team dealing with this together, you know, I don't know. That's cool. It's heartwarming. Oh. Gloomy days are gone. Yeah, uh, look at that shirt. Oh my god. I like it. I love this. So it's like they got they they were depressed and then they slowly got better. Get better day by day. Every day you're gonna feel a little bit better. So true. That shirt. Oh my god. Moonbyul might have just become my favorite K-pop star. Although. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I love these stops, like, for the video. To just, like, hit even harder later. Aww. <laughs> oh, now they look sad. Okay, I'm gonna say something that I'm not sure is right, but I kind of, like, I'm getting a sense of this video and, like, what it means, and I, I'm kind of wondering if you guys got the same idea. Like, the end of that, where it all just kind of showed them with, like, the ice cream on their face and, and the, the quietness. Like, the quietness just came out of nowhere, you know what I mean? And this kind of felt like, they were saying, like, yeah, we get better day by day, we're partying with our friends, it's great, it looks... We watch this montage of us dancing around, and, like, clearly you could see that we're getting better as time goes on. But then it was almost like a moment, that end was like a moment where you got kind of struck by reality, like... Shit, though. We're, we are, as much as we're getting better, we are still dealing with this, like, depression, this sadness that we have. And it was almost like a moment of clarity for all of them where they didn't, were like, oh, fuck, this sucks. You know what I mean? I, I could be wrong about that, but that's the sense that I got. I really thought that that was a great video, honestly. I mean, and don't, don't get it twisted. I'm not all just about the Buffy shirt. <laughs> I really thought the video itself was really well made, and it and showed... The, sort of the message of the song like really well as it was going they all looked super fine while doing it the vocals were great i really dug the song like i said this is this this is the type of mama song that i do kind of vibe to a lot more than than their sort of latin side and i, I just thought that, that was great i thought that was a great song that'll that'll be going on the spotify list all right i'm out of here good suggestion i'm young